actually did have a mentor when I started. Um, his name was David Porter. Um, he's with Sex Records. He he was with Sex Records back in the day, and having him, you know, there to kind of help me through some things, and it really taught me some like some really some really really great just knowledge about the industry. And then he's a wise man because he's been around for so long. So it was just a great opportunity. So I kind of took what he told me and kind of started implementing it into my life because I mean what's the point in you know being told something and somebody teaching you something if you're not going to take those things and apply them so uh, as I've grown in the industry and as I've grown as an artist I've applied the things that I've learned so that's someone who has mentored me but I have had so many mentors over the years and, and maybe they taught me the portion of life that was that, that their portion of their talent like that was beneficial for them i guess you can say it's like if you talk to somebody who does interviews so you know they're gonna tell you everything about communication and that, that's their lane so i've had the opportunity of being around mentors that had a niche and they taught me that niche and i just kind of you know applied it as i moved along in life and when i got to david i, I signed um with the made in memphis entertainment which is an independent label and you know, it's kind of been that ever since, just learning, applying it, learning. Because it's so much, it's so many people that, that have that have the ex experience and knowledge in the industry. And you could just learn so much. So I've been taught by so many people. It's just crazy. I'm truly fortunate to have the opportunity. Honestly, I think everything happens for a reason. I don't really know if there's anything I would necessarily change because I think that I have, you know, everybody, you have your own path in life and you can't, I can't really, I don't want to go, I can't say I want to change this because, you know, you could change the whole course of how things work for you and how things go for you. And I think about that and I would have, maybe I would have focused more. Um, that's something I could have done a little bit better or just really, really continue to encourage myself and, and just really motivate yourself because you have to be your biggest supporter because people aren't always going to be clapping for you and I think early on when I started that kind of got me down a little bit because you want people to instantly like you and instantly accept what you do and you're like oh I'm working I'm working so hard but that's the thing you know they say you know if you don't you feel it when you're working, you know, <laughs> you can definitely feel it. And if you're if you're not taking if you're doing the best you can and, and putting your best foot forward and staying consistent, that's important. And I think that I've definitely done that. I would have pushed myself a little bit harder because as hard as I push myself, I mean, you you got to really push like you got to really, really push and really believe. And I, I wish I would have just pushed myself a little bit harder. And I think at this point in my life, I pushed for the last few years. I pushed myself extremely hard. And even when I'm tired, I push myself because you have to push through through those moments. And that's with anything, you know, when you're working out and it starts burning, you don't stop when it starts burning. That's when you about to get the real results. And I think that that applies to a lot, so many things in life because when it starts to hurt, you want to stop and you want to stop doing it or, or you let up or you back up a little bit or you take a break. That's when you're supposed to go the hardest because it's not it's not supposed to be easy. And I think I definitely would have allowed myself to feel that burn and endure it a little bit more.